Hey there, it's Halo Mania Mates here with the review on the Series 3 Arctic Warthog. Okay, so, starting with the box, they, for Series 3 and Series 4, as far as I know, um, they have changed the box from Halo Mania Mates to Halo Universe Mini Mates. So, um,. Go ahead and leave a comment if you like this new box design, because in my opinion, I actually do kind of like it better. Looks a lot neater in my opinion. Got a picture of a Spartan, Arctic Warthog Series 3. On the back, pretty much the same design as the uh, original Warthog's back. Holds up to three figures. It used to say six, which is kind of a mistake on their part. Um, description. Light anti-aircraft gun, and you know, Arctic Warthog, okay. It includes a small booklet here that I can't take out for some reason. Okay, there we go. It includes this booklet that has um, a bunch of the Series 1 and 2 figures in it. Not that special. Okay, so that's it for the box. So let me put that away. On to the figure. Now, if I can get something to compare it with. This figure is a lot different of a white than the Scout is. As you can see, the Scout figure is actually like white white and this is more like cheap hotel toilet paper colored. If you know what I mean, like it's more of a, a whitish gray than it is a complete white. I know it might look white on here, but it's not quite white. But uh, just like all figures, or at least most of them. It has uh, the assault rifle. All Mark Sixes come with the assault rifle. So far, um, same as you know all the other like nothing's different about him. But the color, you know, he has the same movement, removable helmet. Okay, so that's it for the figure. Now let's get to the important part of the set. The warthog. Okay, I'm gonna need to lift up the camera here. Okay, so. On a side-by-side -side comparison with the Dirty Warthog, you can obviously tell that this Warthog is white. And it's got, um, like, the tires, if you can see, have, like, snow on them. Same thing with the, uh, windshield here. It has, like, a lot of snowy parts. Okay, so, other than the color, they've actually done a lot more with this Warthog than the original. Okay, as you can see with this one, the gun is very flimsy and sloppy. I do not know if that's just my Warthog, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm not too sure. And uh, I don't know if you can see inside there, if it would focus. But it's kind of like, okay, basically what I'm trying to get, there's like not a hole or anything. It's just completely flat um, inside here. So it's very hard to get the mini mates in. And uh, other than that, yeah, I guess that's fine. Okay, with this one though, um, you probably still can't tell very good, but uh, there's actually a big kind of a like a hole in here kind of So um, it's a lot lot easier to fit your mini mates in there without having to pull their legs off or anything And as for the gun you can see it's actually kind of hard to turn the gun now like I Can shake it up nothing happens with this one. It's straight. It's going everywhere and like the other one where if you put the gun upwards it would just fall. This one I can point up. It's fine. So. It is obviously a lot, lot better. So, uh. That's pretty much it for the Arctic Warthog. Next week I'll be reviewing the Rocket Hog. So, see you guys later.